DOT is uh, an international social enterprise it's in about 14 countries around the world and uh, also looking into two countries, um, South Africa and Ghana, that will be on board this year. But uh, DOT started to operate in Tanzania since uh, the year 2012 and we have one project, one of our uh, econo youth economic empowerment program called Reach Up, where we reach out to young people and give them skills in entrepreneurship and ICT. We do this by uh, working with young people who have just graduated from university, and we call them interns. Um, we recruit them, and it's a very competitive process, and we recruit at least 25 young people annually. We train them for a period of one month, and then they go into their own communities to work as uh, leaders of change. And they do so by uh, mobilizing young people, um, uh, and train them in entrepreneurship and ICT. I think it is all, it's known all over the world that you know the uh, over 55 population of uh, of the world population is young people, and Tanzania has the same. Uh, and uh, from the current statistics, we know that about. Um, 65, over 65 percent of uh, under 35 of uh, population is under 35 uh, years of age. So, with this challenge as a country, and um, I think it is a big challenge for the country. It's not a problem per se, but a challenge that, as an international organization, with we believe that it will be appropriate for us to intervene within the youth sector. So, our biggest um, uh, our biggest inf uh, inspiration is the young people that we want to work with to empower them with skills and, and abilities to be able to know themselves, to understand themselves, and then to be able to solve community challenges using business models. I think we've uh, implemented this program for over two years. And uh, from our study, from especially from our interns, young graduates who want to empower just after university to bridge the gap uh, between university and real life experience, um, over 90% of our interns have been able to get uh, good employment uh, in good uh, organization, whereby they've been able to compete with other young people who do not have such an experience. But also, 70% uh, of our program participants have uh, reported increasing uh, improvement in their livelihoods, so either being business or in employment. Currently, we've been operating only in Dar es Salaam. Uh, so for the past two years, we've been in Dar es Salaam. But we work with uh, inner city uh, young people. Um, uh, we also work with uh, uh, youth out of school and out of work. So we have programs for youth who have, um, say, just finished from four, maybe their results were not good. And then we empower them with skills and abilities to be able to make a living. I think ICT will have a big impact in our country. Um, we're very happy to see that other partners are recognizing this, um, the use of ICT. We know of Kinu Hub, uh, whom we are also trying to think together and work together to think of ways that we can help young people in Tanzania to understand technology and to use technology. In Tanzania, we really believe that um, ICT has a big, huge potential for economic development of the country. And we all know that every young people currently um, is one, in one way or another interacting with technology. And in such a way, uh, in all our trainings that we offer, we've also integrated ICT component, whereby these young people know how to use uh, basics of ICT. And we believe in the long run, we'll be able to uh, enrich our, our module with more ICT um, modules. But as an organization, we, we want to 
offer an online platform, a digital platform, where young people can learn from each other, can learn from the models that we have, but also can interact with each other socially to be able to support other young people to, to grow their businesses and to grow professionally. The biggest challenge that we're facing, and, but we have started to address within our training, is uh, the, the education system whereby young people, um, they, they have not been able to be at a stage where they really know where they want to go. So this has been a bigger challenge for us. So um, we are, in our addressing our programs, we have started with life skills as part of our, of our training to make sure that youth understanding, they do understand where they come from, where they are, and where they want to be. Because by doing so and uh, uh, creating a sense of purpose within young people, we believe that they'll be able to meet their either professional growth or entrepreneurship goals. Our program work, we've been working with over 25 centers in, in Dar es Salaam, and uh, this makes it easier for young people to be able to just uh, to take a walk from their home to, to the centers. So uh, uh, the strength of our program has been really enriched by the partners that we have. This can be vocational and education training centers, whether government or private. Some of them are primary schools, some of them are faith-based organizations. And uh, most recently, we have a um, huge number of uh, village community banks groups that have approached us and provide us with facilities, ICT facilities, as well as the classrooms whereby our participants could go and learn. We have a unique uh, training model, as I, I have introduced dot earlier. It's a peer to peer model where young people are reaching out to other young people to train them and empower them with these skills. The past two years we've worked with over 4,000 young people, young people and women, because uh, our primary target is youth, but uh, as you know in our country we have many uh, entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs who have been interested with our program. And uh, I would like to say that we also have a richer program, which is an empowering program, and then we have a, a, a startup program where we've only trained about 400 women who are working with Vicoba Village and Community Banks. Um, I would like to mention that recently we've won a, a Human Development Innovation Fund that is funded by by the UK government uh, through HDIF. Um, this partnership is, is going to set a foundation for us to expand across the country. And we believe that through working with VETA, we'll be able to work with over 25 uh, VETA institutions across the countries. And the most important thing about this partnership is that it's not only going to work with VETA students, but the VETA students will be a hub where other young people will come to learn. So we believe that through this uh, initiative, we'll be able to reach to over 16,000 young people in Tanzania. And in the long run, uh, VETA will take up this program and uh, integrate it into their curriculum as their own program. And, and in such a way, enable all students who are going through VETA to be able to have that entrepreneurship uh, lifestyle, that entrepreneurship skill that could help them not wait only for employment, but create employment for themselves and for other young people. You know, everything comes with positives and negatives. And in our country, we've um, recently seen a lot of negative influence through ICT. Um, we've seen crimes. We've seen where people, the people's, people are losing money through, uh, you know, cyber crime. So we are very happy that the government is, uh, has recognized uh, the importance of tabling such uh, an act. And it will help this country to grow economically where investors will be happy to invest in Tanzania where, whereby they know there's a, there are good policies for, for investment, especially in the ICT industry, which is now growing very fast across the world. Um, 
I am a reader myself. I'm an avid reader, and uh, you know, I think it has been really good nowadays that we have online platforms where people could go and read. So I really encourage um, other readers from the audience that are watching us to go and visit Pesa, Pesa Times, Pesa, Pesa Times, and. Uh, get more information. There's a lot of information about youth, there's information about business, there's all kind of information that you can, you can get and you don't have to go and buy paperwork. Um, so please go, log online and enjoy.